Hi guys, welcome back to my blog, vlog, blog, vlog. Now we are in Dubai. We just got to our hotel. We just checked. We just checked in. It took us ages to get down here because the roads are just messed up down there. We got lost about ten times. I don't know when. We got a shitty driver. Um, so we've got say hello. Hi. <laughs> we've got the ladies down here. We can get some drinks um, going um, for now. And then we are going, we're not going out because we've just been out. Just gonna chill for a bit with the ladies and then play some games and yeah, just probably sleep it off. It's about 4 a.m. in the morning. We got it around 11, 12. Yeah, and we're gonna just chill and see how it goes tomorrow. Tune in. Hi guys, so we're off out now. We've just finished breakfast and then we just finished the gym as well, so we're probably gonna go to the little boat. I don't know, we tried, we're going to the pool actually, the pool with the guys. So those two there, tagging along with them. They're like the Dubai guys, I'm just like tagging along and stuff. I'll take you what we're doing today, really. So. Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. So I've just left Dubai, left all the guys at Dubai. So I think there's like four or five of us. Now I'm in Turkey, Istanbul. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm in Turkey to, to, today, for I'm here for about four days. Today Sunday, I'm here to to um, Thursday before heading to Santorini, Greece. But the reason why I'm here today is because I'm getting my hair transplant done. Most of you probably know that I don't ever, ever show my hair because I just don't like being bald. So I got fed up after a while, so I just need to get it all sorted out. Um, hopefully that goes well tomorrow, really. So it's about three days um, procedure. I think I'm gonna need about 4,000 to 3,000 graft. Not too sure, we'll find out tomorrow morning. So I just finished my gym session for the day. Obviously, I went partying last week. I uh, shouldn't have gone partying really because um, you don't meant to drink a week before your, your surgery. So, but um, I'll be fine, I'm guessing. Um, so I stopped drinking on on Friday. So I went out on Friday night. So I've got about a day or two just to calm myself down with the drinks. So I'm not gonna drink for about three to four days. And then when I head back to Santorini, I will get it started. Obviously, that's my birthday, um, birthday week. It's next week, so. I've got a few things planned for myself. Oh yeah, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so I have just finished my surgery. Look, I think I'm tired because I've been literally been on the bed for about eight hours. Um, so I left this morning at around 7.30. Got the hospital opened at eight. Just got in just now, it was an eight hours um, procedure. 
It wasn't too bad. The worst bit is just the anesthetic bit when you have to put a needle on your head. But everything else would just work out smoothly. Um, it took a few grafts and it's put it on top. You can see there, with my massive um, forehead. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad really. Um, so they've done all that. There, you can see it's still sort of bleeding-ish. So um, you don't like to drink coffee or tea, anything that's got caffeine in it. In it. And also, you don't like to go to the gym for about 20 days, which is a bit of a, oh. Goodness me, anything that got you to get to sweating, I can't do. So that's a shame. <laughs> but um, so no gym for me for about two, three weeks. And then um I'm gonna have to, be able to eat a lot more really. So I made up to Santorini um in about three days' time on Thursday. So hopefully it's not too hot down there because I'm not allowed to sweat and I can't get water on them either. So I've got this on, so when I'm sleeping, I don't have, I don't move around too much. I'm not even meant to move around, my head's just meant to be straight on the ceiling. Um, yeah, so I told you went well, as far as I know. I slept majority of the time, <laughs> believe it or not. I slept for about, I think you said I slept for about five hours or four hours, because I was just conked out. Um, the only time I moved my head was when they had to tell me to move sideways, upwards, and to go to the toilet. And the thing about it is so once you start, you're not allowed to move and you can't go to the toilet. So luckily I had two toilet breaks because I was dying. And they gave me food at the hospital. You know how it is, hospital food are not that great. So I'm just gonna crack in and eat some Turkish food in a second. Back again. So this is day two of my surgery. As you can tell, the, my sort of top bits are swollen. I've got bandage everywhere. It's quite a brutal surgery really. The downside of this is I can't go to gym for 20 days. So I've got my PCR test today. Hopefully I pass that because I haven't been feeling too well. Uh, for the past couple of days, don't know because it's just a change of weather and stuff like that. The weather's I went to Dubai and I'm here, it's quite quite cold. And then hopefully that goes out, well, my result comes out um, negative, because if not, I'll be pissed because I'll be stuck in Istanbul for a while. Um, so yeah, that's what my surgery looks like at the moment. Obviously, you can't really see the, the full surgery because obviously that bit there is swollen, obviously that goes down a little bit. And yeah, so that's my day. Hi guys, so quick update. So basically my transfer from Istanbul to Athens to get my plane to Santorini. Well, I missed my transfer from Athens to Santorini because of passport control. So it was a massive queue and passport control. So I couldn't get out of um, Athens on time to get my Ryanair plane to Santorini. So, been on the phone to Ryanair for about 30 minutes, trying to get the, get find a way of how I could probably jump on the next flight. But I had an hour, 15 minutes to get off the flight. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Seven to eight hours later, we are in Santorini. I'm currently at the airport waiting for my taxi. I believe he's just got here. Gonna pretty much go to the taxi and um, have my eight hour sleep. Cause I haven't really slept yet due to the matter of fact that I missed my flight not too long ago. So I'm still at the airport waiting for my taxi i think it's kind of here i'm not too sure but yeah i'll show you all my views when i get to my hotel but for now see you later guys i've just finished my dinner i'll just like to show you my lovely view at this end there's a sunset right there voila how nice is that that is cool So like I was saying, um, done about 30 minutes walk. Now walking back down again, that's the hardest bit. So about the quality, I'm using my phone.
Hi guys, I just managed to get my camera out, going for this volcano walk. Um, this is a massive hill in Santorini, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm um, just walking down, walking down for about, for about uh, 20 minutes now. It's my first time actually doing, doing a volcano walk or a hike, so it's going to take us about 40 minutes up um, that way. Hi guys, so check out my view at the moment. It's just gone past 7 p.m. at lovely Santorini. I'm just about to head off uh, to have my dinner um, at a restaurant on the corner. I was recommended to go there by one of my friends. I will show you through in a second, but I was trying to stop over and just show you my brief. Um, the sunset is absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm just gonna...